Hey guys, it's Raina, and in this video, I will be doing an update video on my scripting and manifesting video that I recorded six months ago. So I did a challenge, a six month challenge of scripting and manifesting, and I know you guys want to see an update on what happened or what didn't happen. So in this video, I will go ahead and let you guys know. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I have beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos. If you're into that, please subscribe. I have a lot of good content. I have a lot of good content coming. So subscribe and follow me on everything. And let's get started with this video. So a quick rundown for people who don't know what scripting is. So scripting is basically when you get a journal and you write in detail everything you want to manifest and everything you want to happen. And you write in it as if it already happened before. You talk in present tense like you've already received what you want. And this is a way, because that's basically what manifesting is, but you don't necessarily have to write it down. And this is a way that's easier for a lot of people to envision themselves already receiving and having everything so I know in this video you guys want to know did everything that you wrote down happen how did the challenge go did you get everything you wanted and I have to be real honest and raw with you guys I that method personally did not work for me and I'm gonna tell you guys why so the reason one of the biggest reasons why it didn't work for me is because what I wanted changed drastically within six months I have been in like a really deep period of transformation and I feel like that at that time in my life that was not a good time to try to manifest things because the things that I wanted at that time were not long term. A lot of things that I wrote in that journal were things that I just wanted in the moment, things that uh, I felt like I wanted and I felt like I needed but truly it was stuff I did not need, it was stuff I did not want. Like to this day I don't want any, like everything I wrote in that journal I don't want any of it right now. So if you do plan on doing that challenge, I do recommend that you write down things for sure that you know that you want and for sure that you know that you need. And um, just keep in mind that your needs and wants can change very drastically through the course because in that moment you truly do feel like that is what you need, but you don't. And that's okay to change your mind and it's okay to change what you want and to finally realize the things that you actually need because that's a part of being human and that's a part of growing. Um, another reason I felt like it didn't work for me was because uh, that's not where my focus was in my life. I wasn't focused on checking my journal every month. I wasn't um, just reminding myself of those wants. I just did not feel connected to it anymore. So that's completely okay if you don't feel connected to the things that you've previously wanted. It's okay to let go. I have been in a period of really deep transformation. I would say the only thing in that journal that I do still want to this day, obviously, is to get to my goal subscriber count because you guys know I love doing YouTube and I love doing this and it makes me so happy. So of course that is something that I still desire, but if I'm not putting, because when I did that video, then I got really, really sick. And I couldn't record for a few months. So I think that was the main reason why I wasn't gaining subscribers at all because I wasn't recording. And you can't expect to manifest something when you're not doing the work for it. And that's something else. Don't just sit there and say that, okay, I want this kind of car. Like, I want this kind of car by six months. I want to get this in this color. You know what I'm saying? And I want... um. I want to be able to achieve this goal. How are you going to get that car if you are sitting on your ass, you're not working, you're not doing anything for it, you're not figuring out where to go to buy this car, you need to do the work for it. So that's the one only thing that I still want to this day, but I have to do the work for it. I can't expect it to fall out of nowhere. I can't expect that to be something that just happens for me. I have to do the work. So... That is something you have to keep in mind when manifesting. Don't just manifest. Do the work for it. The universe wants to see you put the work in for what you want. And so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know the type of manifesting that worked for me was actually something more immediate. So let me tell you guys. As soon as this year started, I started going hard down on making monthly goals. Now, when... So... The way I would do my goals for every month is I have this planner. So 
every like a few days before the new month starts I go on my planner and I write down the top things I want to achieve for that month so for example in January I wrote down like a lot of goals like I wanted to set for this month and I actually wrote down I wanted to get to 200 subscribers before February ended or sorry before February started <clears throat> So after writing that, and after writing all of my January goals, I sat there, I meditated on it, I affirmed, like I really sat down and thought about ways I would manifest it and the ways I would get those things. Every single goal in January I have achieved. Every single goal in February I have achieved. And I know every single goal in March I will achieve because I'm literally sitting there manifesting it and it doesn't even take six months, you guys. This is taking me one month to manifest just by me being determined, just by me being focused on what I want and figuring out ways for me to specifically do the things that I want. I don't have to wait six months. I don't have to wait a year. Like, and I feel like it's very important for you to break your goals down instead of saying, okay, I'm going to get this in a year. Okay, I'm going to get this in two years. Say, like, make it more immediate and break your big picture goals down to be more detailed and to be, like, mark, like, make time marks for yourself, you know? And that's a way of manifesting that has really been working for me. I have achieved every single goal that I wanted with manifesting and with writing it down for every month instead of waiting for six months. Um, and basically, that is the conclusion of this video and update. No, it did not work for me, sadly. That's okay. It still may work for you. It doesn't mean that this method is bogus or it will never work. It definitely could still work for you. Just be very um, set in stone in the things you want to achieve. And don't be surprised if you can and will achieve that goal a little bit earlier than six months because it's totally possible you know always try different things I tried it it didn't work for me and now I'm moving on and I found something that actually did work for me which is setting monthly goals so I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one bye